If you currently own two PCs and you don't want to use a capture card, you can use NDI Capture to stream with two PCs for free. Step one, you're gonna to wanna to install OBS Studio on your gaming PC. By the way, all links for this video will be down below in the description. As you're installing, you're gonna to wanna to go through everything as normal. You're gonna to wanna to install it to your preferred folder. Now once you're done installing OBS on your main PC, you're going to want to go over to your second PC and install Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio. I personally did Streamlabs OBS to show that you can do both on your receiving PC that will be receiving the NDI stream itself. Again, you are going to want to install Streamlabs to your preferred folder. Moving on over to step 3 now, you're going to install your NDI plugin on your gaming PC. I use the Windows Installer EXE, I install that onto my PC wherever. Then once I run that file, I'm going to make sure that I install it in the same exact spot as my OBS was originally installed on my C drive in my program files. I'm going to make sure it's in the same exact spot. You do not want to mess this part up. The second part here is the NDI4 runtime. It doesn't really matter where this one goes. You can install it in the same spot if you want to. It doesn't really matter in the end. Then once it's done, you're going to want to restart your OBS and then you're going to reopen it. I did it as administrator, but I always run OBS as administrator. After you do that, you're going to want to check the box that says private. Now the reason you want to do this is NDI doesn't really work if you have it on public. So if you have it on private, it'll work properly in your plugins on the top. Then you're going to go to tools and you're going to make sure NDI output settings is there. And you're going to check the main box. That is how your stream will appear on your second PC as its own source. Now for step four, you're just going to want to go into your streaming PC, into Streamlabs, and you're going to want to add the source for your NDI. You're just going to go into the middle, and the NDI source should be on the left bottom side, usually. You're just going to add that in there. Um, for settings on this source, I just use the defaults. If you have any other settings you'd like to recommend to me, I don't mind. Just leave them in the comments below. I don't really see a need to mess with them. But um, one thing you want to remember, both PCs should be on an Ethernet connection on the same network for it to run at its ideal speed. If you have it running wirelessly, you probably won't get those speeds you want, and your picture might look fuzzy on your second PC. Now just some additional tips for you. On your first gaming PC, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your resolution is set to 1080, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your FPS is set to 60. That's very important. Um, just a basic tip for any streamer. If you're ever running streaming programs, highly recommend running them as admin, and this is a way to speed that process up so you don't have to right click every time. You just click on it and then accept the, the prompt. Now my last tip for you, you're going to want to go over to your network and make sure that your connection is running as private. That just makes sure everything with NDI is running butter smooth. If anyone else has any problems in the comments, just let me know. I'll see what I can do to help you out. I have quite a lot of experience working with this stuff, so just leave any questions you have for me, whether it be for this subject or another one, and I can see if I can help you out with it.